As with uh, many households in the 70s, and even households today, uh, swearing, profanity was strictly prohibited in my household. And uh, should something slip, whether intentionally or not, there was hell to pay. So the rule, as was popular at the time, was um, if you say something, then you gotta take a bite out of a bar of soap, wash your mouth out with soap, right? I took that quite literally. And so uh, we got to know, you know, what flavors of soap there were, you know, what zest tastes like versus palm olive, and you know, we had, had our favorites and our least favorites. <laughs> but one night at the dinner table, my little brother let something fly. I didn't even know if he knew what the word meant. My mom was livid instantly. Damn, what did you say? That's it, go take a bite out of soap. Wash your mouth out with soap. Dad like, no, I don't want to. Yes, you know the rules. And so he goes down to the bathroom and he comes back, there's no soap. Mom says, don't tell me that, I know there's soap. So she goes looking for soap. Nope, couldn't find it in the bathrooms, couldn't find any in the kitchen. But she was even hot, and so she's like, Dan, you're still gonna wash your mouth out with soap. He's like, what, we don't have any soap. She says, we have dishwashing soap. She's talking about the liquid. No, no, I don't want that. Yes, you will, stick your tongue out. So he puts his tongue out, and my mom puts a dot of dishwashing detergent on his tongue. She says, gotta go wash your mouth out in the bathroom. And Dan cries all the way down the hallway into the bathroom. He's washing his mouth out, and he's crying. He's washing his mouth out, he's crying. We're still at the dinner table trying to finish our dinner. My mom's yelling, like, what are you, what, get back in here, it's time to be, I can't believe. We just hear him crying. So finally she got fed up, she was marching down the hallway and my sister and I marched right behind her because we wanted to know what was happening too and what was gonna happen. So my mom grabs the door handle to the bathroom and she opens it up and she's about to lecture him. And as she did, Dan turns to her with big tears streaming down his cheeks. And he opens up his mouth and he goes, Whoa! and as he did, a huge bubble forms on his lips. Ah! Ah! And my mother did her best to hold her laughter in, closed the door quietly, and walked away. And we walked away right behind her, laughing hysterically.